Less than one week ago, I had terrible cystic acne on my chin, on my face, with horrible breakouts from eating rancid cod liver oil. Within three days, I was able to completely heal my skin using several principles that I will not only explain to you in this video, I will also demonstrate them and how I did it over the course of the last week. So just to give a brief history of my acne, I had terrible cystic acne since I was 13 or 14. Uh, not quite pizza face, but I definitely had at least 50 to 100 pimples and cysts on my face at once, which isn't really that much compared to hundreds to thousands that people can have. I took Accutane twice, once when I was 21 and 23. Uh, that left me with, I mean, health problems that I still have to this day and never really fixed my acne and I was still breaking out even after the second bout of Accutane. Uh, the five elements that helped me clear up my skin permanently was removal of inflammatory foods like dairy, increasing high retinoic foods like liver, which is interesting because vitamin A palmitate is in Accutane and retinoic acid, the animal form of vitamin A, is a safer natural version to use. Three is staying hydrated with water and electrolytes. And four is the sun. The fifth element, sleep and stress, are very helpful, but in the course of these three days that I actually demonstrate to you guys later, uh, I was very stressed out and didn't sleep that much and I was still able to fix my acne. So the first thing, removing inflammatory foods from the diet uh, is probably, I mean, all these things are super important, but if you're eating foods that literally cause cystic acne, like for me, it's dairy, even raw high quality dairy, as well as high histamine foods like fish sauce, uh, those will give me cystic acne within hours. Like literally after I had that rancid cod liver oil, I had cystic acne within like three hours of having it. On the other hand, having high retinoic acid foods like liver and liver specifically actually prevented breakouts in a lot of cases when I consumed it with dairy in the past. So liver and retinoic acid definitely has like the anti-inflammatory properties. But in addition to that, it's super important to healing skin. If you don't have adequate vitamins in the body, especially D3 and retinoic acid, you cannot heal your skin quickly. That's the difference between me healing a cyst to a light blemish in three days and someone not healing that blemish for months and months and months. The next element, water and electrolytes, is very important if you're not fasting. I find that if I water fast for two or three days, I am then able to dry fast. But if I just eat meals and don't stay hydrated, get enough electrolytes, drink enough water, I will break out. Uh, in the context of a raw diet, this happens as well. If I don't stay hydrated, and the way I do that is I add clay to my water as well as occasionally soak seaweed in water and also eat the seaweed for electrolytes. Uh, the next element is sun and if you can get two or three hours of sun per day over this three day period, you will completely heal your skin. I think this plays a huge factor in healing it in a very short period of time. Although you will still heal your skin, you know, it will go from a cystic pimple on day one to day two, it will be less inflamed and starting to peel over. And day three or four, it should completely peel and you should only have a light blemish left. I'm not sure how much not getting sun affects this. I think slightly. Uh, sleep and stress kind of tie in. Obviously, if you sleep better, you heal better. The main problem with stress is you neglect a lot of these other elements. Uh, you know, maybe you don't drink enough water, maybe you eat some foods you shouldn't, maybe you forget to have liver. There are many elements to stress that can kind of throw the others off the rail. Without further ado, uh, the rest of this video is just going to be clips of me showing how I actually healed my skin in three days. And first, I'm going to show you guys the progression of my skin healing, as you can see now. It's October 12th right now, and most of these clips were filmed, I believe, from around October 4th to 7th. And as you can see now, my skin is very, very clear and looks almost perfect, like glowing. Uh, some of you guys wanted me to touch on the the oils and oily skin, but that's just a genetic thing. It can be related to clogged pores. Um, I don't really think that's too much of a topic to touch on. I mean, just wipe your skin with a wet rag if it gets too oily. I think getting a lot of sun and high vitamin foods and staying hydrated also helps reduce that. But as I said, I'll show you guys the progression of days uh, right now being the final product. And then I'll show you guys the elements I do from the meal I ate to like how I wash my face, how I use hot water sometimes, and how I sleep on a fresh towel every night. All of these elements will fix your acne in three days. All right, guys, day one, trying to fix my acne. It is Wednesday, October 3rd. Uh, we'll track this over a few days. I'll try to stay hydrated, tan. Uh, this was actually from a uh, some fermented cod liver oil. This is an interesting spot to break out because I break out in this spot when I eat fermented foods like fish sauce. And as you can see, I'm breaking out really badly, guys. So 
Uh, hopefully within a few days this clears up. All right, day three, trying to fix my acne. You guys can see I'm dark as shit. I've been tanning like a nut trying to get rid of this acne. Uh, you know, from from a few feet away, actually doesn't look bad. You know, a few feet away, you know, you might only notice a few things here and there. But what happened today was the cyst down here. You know, there's dry. It looks like it's almost ready to peel. This popped that was fresh there's a cyst back here that's still inflamed and here is something that's still inflamed so uh what i did today was i ate and i'll show you guys this i ate a bunch of raw liver and some seaweed i'll do that tomorrow morning and i'll film it uh, this is going to ensure that this acne will clear up in two or three days just depending on my sleep and how much more i tan will determine how quickly it does so uh Although this is the third day of trying to remove the acne, I'm still breaking out. So technically speaking, uh, you know, if we started at a baseline a couple days ago and I just did the liver and the seaweed a couple days ago, we'd be fine. But I didn't get the liver until yesterday. So, yeah, what so you this do? was on my face two days ago. And you could see it starting to peel. And when this peels... blemish is pretty much gone and that happens within two days of getting it so that's kind of what i mean by you, you could fix your acne in uh in two to three days uh three days it'll probably be fine and sometimes it even peels again and it, it looks just like your regular normal skin all right so this is my whole daily acne routine take a rag it's cold water Wipe my face. And then after I wipe my face, I wipe my mouth last. Because mouth bacteria can cause breakouts pretty easily. That's literally all I do in the morning. And the only thing I do with for my face is I wipe it with a cold rag. That's literally the only like actual thing I do that touches my skin. I do take a hot shower at night. That usually helps open up my pores. And I've noticed that also plays a big role in clearing up my face. Although because I don't wash my face that much, it's probably more just me actually washing my face at night. So definitely make sure your whole body's clean. Your hair is clean. Your face is clean because all right, guys, this is what I eat to fix my acne. This is about, I think this is like a quarter pound of liver. I just chopped it up really fine so I could swallow it down. I have some water to swallow it down with. And here I also have some seaweed and I have to soak the seaweed in water because it is dried. So first we're just gonna swallow down the liver with some water. The flavor of the liver depends on the quality greatly. That can be the difference between you enjoying it and you not enjoying it. The liver is very high in retinoic acid, which is vitamin A, which is used in Accutane. It's literally the best thing you can consume for your skin. Now, what will liver do for you? If you're consuming inflammatory foods, liver can reduce the inflammation that causes acne and it might just prevent it outright. Uh, so I had a meal earlier, which was like filet mignon, some salt, some bone marrow. And the salt might cause an electrolyte imbalance. So I still might break out if I eat this. But if you do only this, the liver and the seaweed, and that's all you eat for a couple days, it will guarantee clear up your skin. If you are consuming other food, even in some cases, dairy, which for me makes me break out the worst out of any food, liver sometimes almost prevents the breakouts from dairy. 
So the other thing I have is seaweed and I used to use salmon roe, but I don't have salmon roe right now. And the point is to have a very high iodine as well as electrolyte food uh, and, and zinc helps too, but we're not consuming a lot of meat. So by having the seaweed and eating the seaweed, we're getting a lot of electrolytes and electrolytes like magnesium, potassium are very important for preventing acne. Especially magnesium. This kind of ties in with adding the clay to the mineral water. So for this, I do drink the the seaweed water because this, when you taste it, it's very full of minerals. A lot of the minerals did leach out of the seaweed. Wow. That is strong. I would argue most of the minerals leached out of the seaweed. This water was so salty and mineral tasting, and the seaweed is like insignificant. Honestly, you could even just not even eat the seaweed if you wanted to and just drink that water. This I usually chew it and eat it. Sometimes I do swallow it down like a liver. But I would definitely chew this all the way. Some of you guys might ask, does the liver have to be raw? For me, a raw, a raw food, a raw meat diet has always prevented my acne. Problems occur with acne when I start cooking my food and adding salt to it. And especially if I start eating certain foods that I'm not supposed to, like high omega-6 fats and grain-fed meat. So keeping the liver raw here is definitely important in order to ensure safety, buy from a good source. The only real risk here is cross-contamination uh, from bacteria, from other animals. But I will literally do this. Uh, usually, if I'm breaking out really badly, I'll do it in the morning and at night. Most of the time, just in the morning, just and then I stay really hydrated the rest of the day. So I'll wake up, I'll do that initial hydration, I'll have this liver and seaweed, I'll hydrate the rest of the day, then I'll go to sleep. Uh, and I also have this, if I'm really hungry and want to have a meal, I'll eat this an hour or two after the meal to kind of get that retinoic acid in my stomach as well as the seaweed and the minerals to make sure the meal I ate didn't throw anything off balance. One thing I do every night is I sleep on a fresh towel. This makes it so I don't have to wash a pillowcase every night. It's also a lot easier. Uh, makes it so mouth bacteria and bacteria doesn't build up on my pillowcase every night. Uh, this is just uh, something I used to sleep with. A blackout mask, there's a bunch of other ones you could use. I wash this every two or three weeks. The reason I don't wash this that often is because I don't break out on parts of my face where I put the eye mask, usually just the lower part of my face breaks out. I hope this video helps people avoid taking Accutane, and uh, if any of you guys have bad acne and you do try this video and you have great results, please try to take before pictures and after pictures and let me know how this goes. Uh, I think it'd be really interesting to see someone with severe acne, um, even for like a week, do this routine, get a lot of sun every day, see how things go. Uh, the concern I have about this routine not being successful for a lot of people is I had a lot of fat soluble vitamin stores in my body, so I was able to go in the sun and heal very, very quickly. Uh, and it might, in the context of someone following a carnivore diet high in fat soluble vitamins like me, who's used to the sun, this works in three days. It might take longer for some people, but 
over a period of time, this will work. It might take some people three days, might take some people two weeks. Uh, I can safely say that it will work. It just depends on getting the fat type of vitamins in your body, getting your skin healed, balancing your electrolytes, reducing uh, omega-6 in the diet might also play a role in this, but uh, you know, just how terrible Accutane is and the problems I've had from always being thirsty to uh, I've, I've just had so many problems related to Accutane. I should really contact a lawyer. Uh, they'll really never get back to me, but uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. If you guys want to check out any products such as the seaweed or the like, cod liver uh, that I would have eaten in the place of the liver, I do have some stuff in the description that you guys can check out. And if you want one-on-one -on -one consultation in regards to this or anything else in regards to health, uh, shoot me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com, and that's also in the description.